All right, Friday, so it's time to review a couple movies here. Michael Cook's to, uh, here to join us and going to talk about tickets to Paradise and the outfit. We're going to do uh, the Clooney and Roberts movie Let's first. Let's do the Clooney and Roberts movie first. Ticket to Paradise opening at theaters today with these two mega stars here in this movie. They play a couple who've been divorced for 20 years and still hate each other. Uh, they share a <laughs> daughter who recently graduated from law school, heads down to Bali with her best friend for a little uh, Bali vacation after law school and meets a young man and falls instantly in love and after about a month, they decide to get married. Well, any parent is not going to be right. crazy about that concept of their child getting married one month after meeting their proposed uh, spouse. So these two people who hate each other head down to Bali trying to skeeve and connive ways to disrupt this wedding. Caitlin Dever plays their daughter who's just uh, wonderful in everything she does. She's a, a good solid person. She just happens to fall in madly in love with this nice young man who owns a, uh, a, a kelp cultivating business in Bali. Uh, the thing that makes this movie work is of course the star power of Julia Roberts and George Clooney. They have the charm that can add turbo power to any rickety old car. Uh, the script and the plot line is a little bit rickety, but because of these two stars, it, it works. Uh, just a lot of, it's a, a kind of a romantic comedy, a little bit of drama thrown in in terms of, you know, how you decide to live your life and uh, regrets from the past, some interesting themes. But again, the thing that makes it work is the star power of both of these two uh, people that's still at the top of their game. Oh, nice. I enjoy this movie. I give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, would it ruin the story if you tell us uh, that they get back together? I, I mean, I'm not going to give anything away, but I mean, it's going to be, you're going to know what's going to happen. This is not going to be any kind of like Martians or gunfire coming out of nowhere. Okay. You, you kind of have a sense of <laughs> this where it's already written a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, let's go to the outfit. Outfit. Uh, this is on Amazon Prime. It's free there. Uh, this movie came out early this year. Starks, stars Mark Rylance uh, as a tailor in 1956 Chicago. He's a very quiet man. Uh, he has a, a secretary played by Zoe Dutch. They have a, a very nice father-daughter like relationship. Uh, he keeps to himself, but in the back of his shop, the mob has placed a drop box there where they pick up and drop off money. They have no really interactions with him. They just come and come and go. It's just part of the way mm -hmm. it was in the 1950s Chicago. Well, one night, two of the gangsters have to hide out in his shop after a shootout, and that's where things go awry and the, the layers of the onion start peeling back. Mark Rylance does a great performance here as a, a tailor who keeps to himself. He's very, a quiet man from, from England, just wants to make his suits, but yet still somehow caught up uh, on the edges of the mob and has to figure out a way to keep himself and his secretary alive during the course of one night. The whole movie is set in this tailor shop. It goes nowhere else, but it's done just so beautifully and wonderfully, it doesn't make a difference. This is a very tense thriller. You really don't know which way it may turn, uh, where the storyline may go, and I just thoroughly loved this huh. movie. Everything was just, in my opinion, just about pitch perfect. So, highly recommend it. I call it one of these hidden jewel movies that came out at the theaters, didn't quite make it enough of money, but I give it a 9 out of 10, uh, which is why I really recommend you seeing it on Amazon Prime. Well, the, uh, I guess you call it maybe the cinematography or the set. The it production design, yeah. looks fantastic. You felt like you're in 1956 yeah. Chicago. But oh, I wanted again, to hang just, out in there. Yeah, exactly. Just a, just a nice little tailor shop. <laughs> <laughs> maybe have to drop something off, too. Exactly. 